Hello, and welcome to Wyverns and Weirdos, a D&D podcast set in the world of Fiello. I am your Dungeon Master, Darby, and joining me as always are Laura, playing Bertie, Eddie, playing Anya, Jake, playing Newman, and Zoe, playing Ross. Let's jump into it. So, where we last left off, the party left uh, Kira's via teleportation circle to Zath's, where Anya uh, destroyed the cell where uh, Rook had been held about a year ago. They then used their usual mode of escape, which is everyone hopped on the dragon and Sam made everyone invisible as they flew back to headquarters. Um, Where Newman made a uh, formerly animated suit of armor dance for the crowd. Um, Ross and Anya had the debrief, and Sam asked Bertie to set up the mansion for a romantic evening for Ross and himself. And that was pretty much where we left it last time. So, is there anything in particular folks are doing? Newman's still tinkering. Uh, Ross is going to have a shower and get as much of the glitter ash off as she possibly can. Uh, and then is probably going to go um, go to the bar to try and find Bertie if no one stops her. Hey. Uh, is Bertie at the bar? He is not. Huh? Surprising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like looks around a bit as if she maybe missed him. Um. And like just looks around again, and then goes like, "Okay, okay." And then she immediately goes up to the roof to see if he's talking with Anya. Uh, and unless Anya's up there, I don't believe she'd find anyone. Anya probably also went to clean up um, and is not on the roof because she's not at that stage tonight. <laughs> it was a pretty good day. Yeah. Um, cool, so she looks around up there and she's like, huh. And then she, she kind of stands at the base of the stairs with her hands on her hips for a minute, like thinking really hard. And then like, light bulb, oh, I'm an idiot. And then she's gonna um, go to Birdie's room and be like, Birdie. It's like some scrambling and like Birdie opens the door who's like, yeah? Um, hey, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, how, how you going? You look Fine. nice. Uh, I showered. Thank you. You look clean. Um, yes, Betty's still covered in light like, glitter, the little the metal dust. Do you want me to try and clean off more of that for you? Oh no, it's okay. I got an idea on how to get rid of that, actually. So uh, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Well, actually, Ross, I was thinking. Yeah. Um, and he like holding he's like like holding like a glass like the um of like some kind of alcohol um and he's like and, and like he's got like like a, a pencil in his other hand he's like i was thinking um mm-hmm. actually 
like maybe in like half an hour or something like that. I don't know. Let everyone. Could you like let everyone know? I was thinking it'd be really fun if like um. He kind of looks like hesitant, like a flash of hesitancy, like goes over his face for a moment, and then he just kind of shakes off. He's like, "I was thinking it'd be really fun if like I could get like my mansion to turn up. We could like go there because I'm getting so dead bored of being stuck in like a tiny room for like weeks and weeks. We could have a sleepover or something. Oh." Like, oh, like a nice dinner. I don't know. Like, something like that. It'd be fun. Oh, no, that... That would be... Yeah, that... I miss the mansion. That would be really fun. Yeah. It should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I was yeah, thinking maybe... that'd be nice. Uh, maybe you could ask everyone for me. Um, I've been kind of oh. busy trying to get it all ready. Psych myself up to uh, cast it again. <laughs> hmm. He like chugs the, the, like just knocks back the glass and just like throws it in the background. He hears smash. Um. Hmm. Yeah. No. That. Thank you, Birdie. That's really considerate of you. I know that. I know that means something to you. That spell. You. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I think it'd be fun for everyone. So uh, that's 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 worth it. It means I can just go and just soak in the hot tub for a while. So it'll be great. Good. That's good. Hey. Hmm. Yeah. She once again looks as if there's like so many things she wants to say, and she just <laughs> doesn't know how to pass them out. So she just kind of puts a hand on his shoulder again. It's like, we're nearly there, yeah? Yeah, nearly there. Did they mention anything at the meeting? I'm guessing not. Nothing big. We, well, uh, yet. We find out tonight what's happening in Dorham. Oh, are they... They're raiding the tower tonight. Time zone wise, yeah. Ah. So. Oh, I mean, no news is good news, right? I mean, that, that, that means the dorm isn't under attack from the, the wizards while we're attacking them, so I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. And um, they'll get Taven's phylactery, hopefully, which means when we. It'll be the end. Yeah, the end. And, um... The end of all of this. Yeah. And, um... Not tonight, because uh, we should do something fun. You're right, I'm getting so sick of these walls. But, mm. um... They have approved for us to go in and get Caius. Oh. Good, they approved it. Good. Yeah. Cool, I mean, well... We were going to do anyway, it's just that uh, we have whatever they can give us. Cool, good, good, yep. Okay, good, cool, um, mm, okay, um, <laughs> he kind of just looks like very, like, like, like he's got vertigo, and it's like, just kind of just shakes his head for a bit, and, um, he, like, then just, uh, just, like, reaches in, like, Holds the little pencil that he has, reaches into his like pocket and pulls out the little wand and just like taps his head for a moment, and just like squeezes his eyes closed, like, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, no. And just like straightens up and uh, pricks up and like some little like flowers pop out of his hair and disappear. It's like, okay, cool. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. Cool. At some point then we'll find out what's happened. Yeah, um, could you, like, let everyone know? Maybe, like, in half an hour. Get themselves looking nice, you know? For whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I back think. in Dorum when we had the pill for... Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And she, cool. like, she looks at the, the pocket where he put the wand, and there's a little furrow to her eyebrows. She's not trying to hide it. Um, But she also doesn't mention it. She just kind of nods. And she goes, I'll let them know to get pretty. Awesome, yeah. You can even invite Sam. I'll let you do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ross. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Birdie. And she gives him another, like, kiss on the top of the head. He'd let and then, like, he just kind of, like, quickly shuts the door. 
Oh, um. Okay. Don't, oh, sorry, I just realized I could be rude. I'm probably getting naked right now. Yeah, absolutely. What's oh, out? I'm yeah. Dressed. Okay, okay. I'll see you soon. And then she she will go and one by one tell everyone that uh, in half an hour, wear your nicest little outfit and bring your PJs. We're having a sleepover at Birdie's house. Uh, and she'll... Uh, if it means anything, the order's gonna go Anya, Newman, Sam. Okay. So, and if Sam is in any way weird about it, she'll just be like, huh, and then she must be unrelated, and then she'll go and get ready. I guess roll me an insight check. Okay. She's a plus seven. 18. Doesn't seem weird about it oh okay just yeah, making friends with my friends that's great <laughs> and then she goes over with a nice little outfit on all right Linte will at a certain point birdie will just be waiting outside his room idling <laughs> like an npc <laughs> <laughs> Anya probably rocks up first, um, specifically because she, she, she didn't bring, like, her pajamas. <laughs> She's on a mission. So she just kind of rocks up um, just in a more casual, like, she doesn't have, like, all of the uh, bells and whistles. She's just, like, in the sort of crop and pants. She's like, Hi. Hi! And Bernie's like, um, he's just wearing like like a little skirt and like just a, like a sort of a more oh, because he was winter when we left, so he's got like a like a long sleeve kind of like baggy kind of jumper on. Oh, that's about it. Um, and he's got like his um the red hair is just like down, um, but like in just like tight braids, like French braids. He's like, hi, Ross told you, cool. I hmm. What did Sam... What happened? <laughs> but he, like, looks around to see that no one's there. And he, like, leans in closer to Anya and is like, Okay, so... Sam has romantic things planned. <laughs> oh... Okay... Far he doesn't know. Okay. So, you know what the big problem here is, yeah? Because it would have been suspicious <laughs> if I only, uh, I only invited the two of them, you know? It's Newman. Newman it's is... Newman. Newman is the, uh... Okay. He's the potential problem in this piece. No offense to Newman, but, um, I s well, yeah, well, you know, they don't call him nosy Newman for nothing. This is true. And again, you know, I didn't hear much, but I did kind of hear something from Ross that, you know, she was trying to wrestle him not to, like, break into hopefully Simi and Kai's making out or something. So, you know. Um, oh, that definitely happened. I was there. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, that's fine. <laughs> um, either way, I have some planned distractions for Newman if he starts to get into nosy Newman mode. But we gotta be careful. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, but yeah, also it's the mansion again, so uh, just a heads up if the magic's a bit strong. It, um, it should be fine, buddy. <laughs> Also, I've changed around some of the rules a little bit, so, um, from my actual mansion, so, um, uh, and, but he kind of, like, leans in and continues to whisper, and he describes to Anya the directions of, like, oh, you know where this normally room normally is? Don't go here. Or, like, you know, yeah. there's a short, there's a lower table here. He, he like, describes the, the layout for her, um, as best he yeah, can. Yeah, she listens intently 
and then it's yeah. like, thank you, Bertie. I'll um, stay clear of those no areas. <laughs> Again, you're like, yeah, yeah, your room's all in the same place, so most of the amenities are in the right place. So I'm hoping if we can keep Newman occupied, I'm going to go and clean all. Because he, like, he's he's gotten like, most of the stuff off, but like you can tell, like, oh, Anya can't tell. <laughs> um, yeah, for anyone else who's probably approaching this point, like, Buddy is, like, yeah, in a little skirt and, like, the oversized, like, baggy jumper, but, like, um, he's still got a lot of, like, the just crap all over him. He is also, like, um, because uh, he's just barefoot, he's got like a lot of bruising all over him, but yeah, very fun <laughs> from the combat. Um, but yeah, Annie can't see any of that, so yeah, you Annie can't that? see it, so she's <laughs> like, Yes, excellent, mansion, good times. I presume at this point, at least one of the other people who's invited is arriving. Who knows? Or well, we wait for enough <laughs> 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Barry's like, Oh, you look nice, by the way. Um, yeah. Thanks, I uh, showered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm thinking I probably should spend some time doing this now, but you know, it's been a while since I've done this spell, so uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun. It'll be nice. It'll, it'll be okay. Yeah, this will be good. Mm. He steeples his fingers <laughs> yeah. as he tends to do. Yeah, this is probably about when Ross rocks up because she likes to be punctual. And she's probably just wearing like a little outfit she's worn before. It's just like a, a really deep purple and red like blouse and then like green pants, like green slacks. And she's got uh -huh. like all her hair piled up and some jewelry in. And she's just, uh, yeah, no, she'd also be barefoot. She's got like sandals in her hands, like just in case <laughs> we're doing something weird. And she's like, hey. Oh, hello! Hello, Ross! Good evening Bravari. to you! Good evening to both of you, too. Are the boys here yet? No. Fashionably late, as usual. Uh, Newman probably worked on his new friend, and Sam's normally on time. That's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Hmm. It's at that point that Sam shows up. Well-dressed. Um, not over the top, but, uh, there, yeah. um, sort of, yeah, um, yeah, just kind of. In a little outfit. <laughs> yeah. More casual. Yeah. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh, there he is. Hello, Sam. Like, Renaissance noble core, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> You look very nice. Uh, Everyone looks very uh, nice. Yes. yes. Awesome. Um, cool, cool. That's yeah. nearly everyone. Fantastic. Um, just uh, wait on Newman, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Should be mm. good. Have you ever had a sleepover before, Sam? You know, like a pillow fort kind of sleepover. I don't know. <laughs> I have not. Well, oh, we'll what, Ravari didn't rope you into one in college? Hmm. I don't think there were ever enough pillows available uh, on campus accommodation. No, they were pretty shitty dorms. Right, of course. Yeah, fair. I never had an education, so I wouldn't know, but I can guess that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll find out. I, I, this is a chill thing, of course, as well. You know, we can go get something to eat. It'll be great. I've got a lot of amenities and stuff like that. So, yeah. Should awesome. be good. Plenty of pillows. Yes, lots of pillows. I like pillows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I will take this opportunity to bring Newman in. So Newman will be following. <laughs> uh, he'll be coming down, and he is wearing his pajamas. He always packs his pajamas, um, but there is something very different about him at the moment. He is also bringing his um, suit of armor. He's not wearing it, however, but he's wearing a very interesting form of scarf, 
not the suit Newman is wearing an interesting Uh-oh. metallic <laughs> scarf um, oh. and as Newman comes a little bit closer you can see that it is a slithering friend um, <laughs> Uh, this is what Newman has been doing this entire night, this entire afternoon. He's been fixing the snake friend, which the was the first, friend. the first uh, point of uh, action for Newman. <laughs> um, the animated suit will take a little bit longer. That's I was I absolutely am. horrified because I thought that you had killed, like, but melted down the animated armor <laughs> into <laughs> a scarf. <laughs> So, I was just, so upset. The emotional <laughs> attachment just between roll, me and this fucking animated armor. Roll me a uh, Tinker's Tools check to see just how well you were able to kind of yeah. rejig this uh, snake. 37. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Better than when it, fir- than when it was first alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I love it. Awesome. So we can uh, rebuild him. Oh, <laughs> Reflexively oh. from my boat. like, oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Um, I still, I'm pretty sure I, I'm getting the piece of armor incorrect, but Newman was able to find what... I remember as a shoulder piece from one of the prototypes that Kira had that absorbed or had magical elements to it. I don't think it was, though. I think he corrected me on it. But can he integrate that into the snake? (laughs) As, like, Mm. it's, like, just behind its, like, head. Kind of like it's wearing a bandana. (laughs) But, like, Uh, a metal bandana. You can... The pure aesthetical reasons, if you yeah. don't want it to have that ability. I'm just saying. I just want it to look like it's wearing a bandana. It would probably give it uh, some resistance to fire damage. I'll take it. But yeah, um, hey everyone. Um, I'd like you to meet... Um, well, actually I haven't thought of a name for it yet. <laughs> um... And he looks it in the eyes. He's like, mm. as it like sticks out a little pung on his nose. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like just, just not like a regular. Thing, it's just like, <laughs> um, but you do see a hinge that like it could potentially like, like hinge up and down at the tip um you know those toys that you can get uh, i usually from my memories got them from like zoos and such but it's like uh, a, a yes. toy where if you flip it upside down it goes and then if you do it the other way it goes um hmm. that's the noise it makes as the tongue comes out but like real quick so it's like <laughs> <laughs> um hmm. i'm thinking i want to call you ziggy or zigzag I don't know. I'll work on it. I like Ziki. <laughs> what about what do you guys reckon? Uh, Ziggy's really cute. Great. Yeah. Um. Hello there, Ziggy. Do you like the name Ziggy? It can't talk. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so it. Yeah. I. Yeah. Tilts its head to the side as if it's like comprehending as if it's thinking yeah. about it. It does understand one language of its creator, but cannot yeah. speak. <laughs> yeah. Um, it doesn't so seem opposed to it. Yeah, it's pondering. <laughs> something to try out for now, I guess. Maybe that's something we can do in the pillow fort. We can brain for, bra- uh, brainstorm uh, potential names, yeah? Yeah, like absolutely. It. Now, um, of course, I I'm not a pillow fort builder, so like I'm gonna need like some help to get that sorted. Um, but like we can all kind of we can just like chill. There's lots lots of stuff we can do. Obviously, people just want to sleep in beds. They'll be there too, uh, probably. Um, so yeah, it should be fine. Um, uh, cool. Well, now that everyone's here, I'll I'll get stuff ready. Oh, uh, yeah, this will it'll be okay. Yeah. Hmm. And Buddy kind of like turns around um, and starts to sort of like busy himself. 
<laughs> As a new food approach, just a snack friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I have brought maybe some pillows or something? Oh no, I could have plenty of pillows. It'll be fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and so Bertie kind of like seems like he's trying to concentrate a lot, and um, he's got his backpack with him. Um, he takes it and um, he takes out a little piece of what looks like um, marble, um, a small kind of like little figure of something. Um, he's, he's, like, he's like opened his door, like a little crack, and like a silver spoon from the backpack, and he like kind of throws all three in the room, and then closes the door and just like turns the handle and then sort of um uh kind of like um traces some sort of invisible invisible kind of sigils on the doorway and then like just holds it for a moment as like Anya will feel kind of a pulse of magical energy um before Bertie um takes his hands off and takes kind of a deep like breath he's looking a little bit like he just can't, like just like shakes his head a bit again, and then he kind of reopens the door in a flash of magic, and it opens into a scene of a vibrant garden with the familiar shape of Bertie's home in the distance um, through the doorway. Um, and yeah, I will note um, it's like been a little while since we've been to Bertie's mansion because like the first time we were, the last time we were here was a pretty specific moment. Um, and I guess, like, um, from, like, a glance from what people can see outside, like, it still looks most of the same. It's still a replica of Bertie's real knife mansion and grounds and the lavish garden, explosion of flowers, grown wild and stuff like that. But it's just, like, even from outside, it looks just a little bit off. Um, and kind of the first thing everyone would notice is that when Bertie opens the door, the angle that, like, you see is just a little bit to the side. Not, like, perfectly, like, you know, if you guys step through it, like the gravity's normal, it'll like write itself anyway, but it's just, just a little bit off kilter from the side of the um the doorway in a way that it wasn't last time. Um, but yeah. He like points he likes to just like, ta-da! Please feel free to go in, go to the house, go check it out. If you want to, I don't know, a piece in the garden or something, feel free, I guess. Um it'll be done in the morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free. He grandly gestures at the doorway. <laughs> Thank you again, Bertie. This is really kind of you. No problem. He does have a flash of light, just just something. Um, but yeah. He's like, it's all good. No problem. Everyone get in, get on in. Then uh, you, right, you right. can bring Ziggy to a plus two, I guess it's fine for you, my good friend Newman. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. I kinda miss this place. Yeah, me too. Um, but Bernie yeah, ushers cool. everyone inside if cool. they choose right. to do so. I guess Newman becomes a little and disorientated when he steps through the door because, <laughs> like, the whole world like shifts a tiny bit. Yeah, just a bit. It's just like <laughs> just a bit strange. Yeah. Um, yes. And I will notice, I will note that, like, again, for people who can view this visually, sorry, Anya, it just feels the same kind of magic as before. Um, like, uh yeah just it's just kind of just feels just a little bit off um some of like some of it looks like it was like kind of like like some of the things most of you guys wouldn't know his house intimately like completely exactly where everything is but just like it's a bit of like a sense of offness because like some things have been like hastily changed around a little bit possibly and i will also know um the atmosphere last time seemed to kind of reflect whatever time buddy created it which it's evening now so it certainly looks like the evening um, and it was pleasant. It's like still mostly pleasant, but the sky now, um, which is noticeably, is a very dark sunset, sort of red with like roiling thunderclouds of purple and blue. And it's also raining, <laughs> lightly, but um, it's raining. Um, and Betty kind of steps in. He's like, "Oh, um, hmm. I'll try and concentrate on that and fix that." Yeah. Um, once we get inside, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let, let, let's hurry on there. <laughs> um, and, um, I guess, like, he ushers everyone there, and I will notice, like, just again, just, like, little glimpse type stuff, the garden still looks the same, there's kind of, like, some odd extra things in there, though, like, there's kind of, like, the odd, like, stone statue that isn't there normally, sort of, like, 
shape of like green paint monsters and what looks like weird half forms like and like scrapped like trampolines kind of like stuck in the overgrown foliage um and i guess most noticeably just for a moment for people who can visually see this um there's like because uh, there's like in magnificent mansion the part of the spell is the 100 like near transparent servants um as you guys enter just for a moment because the before like almost curiously they're kind of like waiting around just like spotted around everywhere before dispersing to do whatever it is they do um last time like they looked like very silly strange faces and appearances all specifically madly decided upon by someone who isn't Bertie and who isn't here um this time just for a moment for everyone who's sight based um and even to Anya some of you feel like a little bit off uh, but not worryingly um again they're almost transparent so it's only a glimpse anyway but this time they don't have faces it's kind of like drawings with like their faces scratched out um but the rest of them is like all exactly the same shape like so no faces they're all scratched out but um almost all the same for everyone you catch a glimpse of and it's all the same height the same stance the same armor as someone no longer here and they disperse quickly um, to go and do whatever they're doing. Anyway, that's the mansion. Welcome back. Bertie's going to hurry you inside um, as the rain kind of just like, just keeps pattering down. He does that, I guess. <laughs> um, um, oh. Hang on. Um, is, the, is the trampoline still here? <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. Yes, absolutely. I have like a whole room for the trampoline. I made some adjustments, Newman, <laughs> my very good friend. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like I've made a couple of adjustments. So yeah, that's um it's it's all fine. Yeah, yeah, trampoline. So if you want a trampoline to your heart's content, my friend, you certainly can. I heard you are a fan. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I was just wondering it, it wouldn't happen to be outside, would it? Oh, yeah, no, um, I actually have room for it. It's a very high ceiling, don't worry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, I was just kind of really feeling like using it at the moment because, like, I'm not sure yeah. if you've ever done it, but when you use the trampoline in the rain, uh, it does this, like, really mesmerizing effect where you can see, like, the ripples of the bounce and then the water just kind of fragments or mystifies in the air it's it's actually really really fun um but, but like, it looks like it's, he's it's, trying really hard to concentrate it's like yeah, yeah, yeah i can pro no i haven't but i'd love to see that um uh just a, just a moment um let's let's see if i can um he tries to like focus really really hard and like while he's trying to focus um like um because we're standing in, like the little living like the little foyer area i guess um which um, like has yeah little mantelpiece, little little different photos, all the photos um, which were oh paintings, it's fantasy land of course, fantasy paintings. Um, they normally have like paintings of Bertie, like little drawings and stuff like that. They just all like just scratch out um, as Bertie's like trying to um, to focus on them um because a lot of like drawings the guys has done or like the paintings he's, he's got up there um they all just like completely just wipe out um, while he's like focusing and he's like aha okay step outside and look outside again my friend Newman uh okay he does that um w wow and there's Wait, a so trampoline outside you, you just did that yeah normally I can adjust things while I'm in the mansion but like I can't if I focus really hard on it so there we go oh my god that, that's great wow uh okay well uh if anyone needs me <laughs> that's where I'll be as awesome. he like full of bolts like <laughs> there's a pocket of like air that isn't touched by rain and then just bits of water just enter that vacuum of space as a human is no longer there <laughs> just like this comic like hanging rain um and yeah he goes over to the to the trampoline and yeah he's just gonna try and jump as high as he can make as big of a splash as he can um he's going to see if he can double bounce um ziggy as well see how high he can launch ziggy that's so cute <laughs> <laughs> um, Anya uh, 
looks around, not looks around, but like uh, sort of considers the remaining three. And then like does a big sort of sigh. Then she's like, turns to Bodie and is like, I'll take first watch. <laughs> and then goes and sits on like the front step watching uh, <laughs> Newman. She for- does not explain herself to Ross or to <laughs> Sam. Think- okay, hmm. well, that was the thing uh, Anya said. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Sam rolled a nat 20 insight check, so he knows exactly <laughs> what you're doing. That. Um, Ross is yeah, not going to well, roll an insight check. Like, two and two yeah. makes five, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> old habits die hard, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Um, cool. Well, I don't know what you you want to do. Um, but like, I know we're gonna do pillow for at some point. Um, I've got like a bunch of stuff in like that room over there. So maybe you two could go check that out, like sort it out. Or if you want to go like grab some snacks, like the kitchen's through there as well. Um, I am going to try and figure out why it's raining. <laughs> um, cool. Huh. Okay. Um, let us give us a buzz if you need any help, you know? Yeah, for sure. Again, like, yeah, you know, you, you no offense, you two have more muscles than I do, so, you know, carrying <laughs> pillows is gonna be a better job than I will. <laughs> I'll, 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 if you need me, just give, give, give me a yell. Um, but yeah, just over, over there. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Sure thing, Betty. I'll see you uh, in a minute, yeah? He kind of like wrings his hands and like looks out the window, like the rain pattering down, and then just like just steps out um, after Anya. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Anya will. You... Um, sorry, Anya will when Birdie gets there. Kind of just pat the step next to her. <laughs> um, as, as you're leaving, Birdie, you you do hear a um a message of uh, thank you from Sam. <laughs> he just thinks, "Go time, buddy. Go to that door." Mm. You do not notice him casting the spell, Ross, as he rolled a high enough spell oh, to evade your passive Ross. perception. Ross Sneaky is, boy. Yeah, Ross is too busy being like, why are all of my friends, except for Newman, acting incredibly weird? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's acting weird, except for Newman. This is normal. And she's just kind of, her eyebrows are far, and she's like, is everyone all right? I mean, I know we're not like, all oh, right, because we're, you know, in the middle of what we're doing, but like, should we go check on them? Um, no, sorry, I'm sh- sorry. I'm sure um, they're fine. Yeah, no, sorry. As Birdie said, he just needs to work out what goes with the rain. And yeah, I, I'm i trying to be better about Anya's, giving people space when they clearly need yeah. it, so... Um, and Anya's had a bit of a day with the whole uh, Zath yeah. Tower moment. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is. It needs space. It needs mm. space. Okay. Well, I guess it's you and me on pillow duty, babe. Yeah. Shall we get something to eat first? Um. Yeah, I could eat, sure. Yeah. And he. Uh, goes to the uh yeah he goes to the door that birdie pointed out opens it up and uh, i will also notice the door that like open it opens up so he'll open it up um <laughs> and in through that door is another door um and there's like some little like bright lights kind of like shining down from there like a little stage lights or something um and then um the other door is like a red highly polished door and it's kind of like got like um uh just kind of like two little spaces of where like two little cards like two little like little the card <laughs> two little cards would be but it's blank um but that's it oh there's not normally a second door there what's ross is like behind sam trying to peer around and see what's going on wait wait I think 
think I know what you've done, Bertie. And Sam places his card in one of the slots. Uh, okay. It's a weirdly specific puzzle. Um, Ross, like, pulls hers out of, like, a pocket. And then, um... Of course she had it. Yeah, she keeps it in her little thigh bag. And then she, like, she smooths it out against her leg and she's, like, being very gentle with it. And it, she kind of goes to put it in the slot and then kind of pauses for a moment and looks at it and looks at Sam. And she's like... We should get back into drawing. You're really good. And then she'll just like put it in the little slot. Perfect. Like... <laughs> what has Bertie set up? Uh, so the door pops open. Um, so there's a little like hallway that kind of stretches out. Um, and it kind of, it seems to be how Ross has tried to, how, he's heard Ross drunkly describe what uni life was like back in Navora. Um, so if you step in, but it won't be apparent until you step, you, both of you step through there. Um, so the hallway kind of looks like dorm rooms or like whatever Ross would imagine, even like one of the theater rooms that Ross would have described to Bertie while she was drunk one time. What? What? <laughs> what is Betty doing? And for like kind of a moment as well, while you two step through there, like something just like the 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 room just kind of like just just warps a little bit, and like just some like one like detail of the room just like scratches out a bit. Um, and you see like some of the servants just like watching from down the hallway, that then just like water off. Well, watching presumably they don't have faces. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I haven't been here in years. But she like grabs Sam by the arm and like pulls him through it. And she's like, do you remember it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, why has he done this? <laughs> do you think there's anything else? Do you think there's more puzzles? <laughs> Possibly. I, okay. Um, definitely exceeded expectations. <laughs> what um, expectations? Uh, <laughs> and as you're wondering along here, probably at this point, Sam's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and um, uh, he opens. So there's another door. Uh, like, oh, you can, you can see like there's a like dining room down the end of it. Um, but as you get a little bit closer, like you know, a curtain falls past. Um, and um, you kind of suddenly like, for like a moment, you get kind of like a whiff of like some kind of like baking or something, like carrot cake or something, I don't know. Um, but then like that curtain, like, uh, you know, drops, drops down like a nice like velvet curtain in like, you know, teal, like Ross is one of Ross's favorite colors. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, did, did you know about this? I may have asked about, uh, favor. A pretty big favor. It, her face like drops a bit. She is, is that why we're here? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Samuel, did you tr the entire party for a sleepover <laughs> so we could do <laughs> You're ridiculous <laughs> She's just laugh. He hasn't seen her this happy in a very long time But she's just smiling Probably take this exact moment as well, no matter what Sam's about to try and do or say. Um, a little like note haste like just haste like appears like a like a piece of paper that appears like on the little like curtain. It's like and it just says like definitely pillows in here. P S 
audience waiting for a performance you should give them a show <laughs> um and that's all it says <laughs> And then like something like scribbles under it's like not that kind of show, <laughs> just something, just some kind of performance. Your bards, right? Get your money out of the gutter. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a romantic. <laughs> Shall we? And he offers out his his hand. We shall. Like the old days. And she takes his hand. And he, yeah, with with his free hand, kind of pushes open the curtain and with the other leads you through. And... There's like a but there's like a little roar of like, you know, thaumaturgical presentation, like little applause. <laughs> um, but it kind of leads out into like this, um, quite a cozy little thing you kind of get the impression this is actually what Bertie sort of likes it's just like it is his dining room it's got like a bunch of like silks up everywhere like little curtains um and then there's like a dining table and there's like it's just like filled with like lots of different like um like uh Lindevoren pastries um and then some kind of like approximations of like other like street food and things like that from Navora um that Bertie's kind of he thinks he's tasted once before it might not be right it might not taste right the pastries absolutely look accurate but yeah um and the applause like kind of dies down and, and again for a moment like in the like you know in your periphery like there are some of those servants that like just scatter um, and it just gone in that room as well if all the world's a stage oh my god <laughs> do you think the applause will happen again if we do something I don't know this is this is a few steps beyond the scope that I requested. <laughs> Well, it's Bertie. You know what he's like. True. Okay. Okay. Um. Ross, like, lets go of Sam's hand and she kind of goes into, like, the middle of the dining room and she kind of looks around and she, like, almost like she's imagining there's an audience there. But then the, she just kind of looks over at Sam. If music be the food of love, play on. Give me excess of it, that surfeiting the appetite may sicken and so die. That strain again, it had a dying fall. Oh, it came on my ear like the sweet sound that breeds upon a bank of violets, stealing and giving odor. <laughs> Enough. No more. Tis not so sweet now as it was before. O oh, spirit of love, how quick and fresh thou art thou, that notwithstanding thy capacity receiveth as the sea naught enters there, of what validity and pitch so e'er but falls into abatement and low price even in a minute. <laughs> And Sorry. as as you're delivering that monologue, he summons up a mage hand and has it uh, start to drum out a, a a beat as he takes out his flute and between the percussion and the <laughs> flute accompanies you. <laughs> I should have picked a better piece. <laughs> Something you know, maybe. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, hold on, I have another one. I have another one. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And he continues the music. She like does does a little um like a little spin around the room and 
there's a moment where you can tell she doesn't care if there's going to be any kind of response from any kind of servant. Um, she only really cares about Sam. Take all my loves, my love. Yea, take them all. What hast thou then more than thou hadst before? No love, my love, that thou mayst true love call. All mine was thine before thou hadst this more. Then if for my love thou my love receivest, I cannot blame thee for my love thou usest. But yet be blamed, for thou thyself deceivest by willful taste of what thyself refusest. I do forgive thy robbery, gentle thief, although you steal thee all my poverty. And yet love knows it is a greater grief to bear love's wrong than hate's known injury. Lascivious grace in whom all ill will shows. Kill me with spites, yet we must not be first. And... You, you notice as you reach the, the end of the sonnet um, that the flute cuts out as Sam approaches you and as the poem ends, embraces you. <sighs> Thank you. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but I love you. Love you too, Ross. And I want to know what it's like to love you when everything's okay. This is a good start. It's a bit early in the evening, but can I kiss you? Of course. She kisses him. Mm. He kisses back. <laughs> like kind of the background kind of just like scratches out a little bit, but then like just like seems to rewrite itself. Um, <laughs> and just momentarily I'll, <laughs> I'll just butt in and be like, and then Brady's kind of like sitting out there looking a bit tense and he's like, I can't tell because I can't see them, but I think it's okay. I was, I was actually about to, to say, meanwhile, oh. outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good and he, timing. He says it's to Anya. Um, well, he watches Newman jump through the stratosphere at this point, presumably. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just going to say earlier, Newman was attempting to, like, double bounce Ziggy and did roll a natural 20 for, like, a strength <laughs> check is what I was what? going for. Oh, oh no, you're dead! You're fucking kidding! Ziggy is like <laughs> leaving this realm's stratosphere. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> I want to know how far does Ziggy go? <laughs> yeah, guess... true. How far does Ziggy go? And then Roll... I'll say <laughs> what happens in this, this Bertie space as well. Roll me a, a percentile? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I think I rolled max. Give me a second. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just it's just it was a ten and a zero. So I'm assuming so that's that 10. that's oh, only oh, ten. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Um ten. Which isn't actually all that high. I guess the weight like um, prevents it from going up too high, but it's about 10 feet above the trampoline and just the velocity throws it to the side and, so if, and it goes crashing down onto the grass. So if it goes crashing on the grass, the second that it's about to like hit the ground, a t a, like the world's tiniest lake appears um, right <laughs> under Ziggy. Um, it's not, it's like a basically a puddle, I suppose you could say. Um, and Z smashes down into that. Ooh, All splash. right. Oh. Anya probably um, also like had gone to react to this um, 
like to Ziggy falling to cast Featherfall oh. and then realize that she didn't have any castings left. Like she didn't have like the magic in her and just got like a little bit upset and then hears him <laughs> splash <laughs> and like just slumps a little bit with relief. Yeah, she probably feels very tense up when that happens instead. Um, he's like, um, <laughs> that was that was weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he goes and picks Ziggy up and goes back on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's right, he doesn't know where they're. <laughs> um, uh, what do you reckon, Ziggy? Above and beyond. Um, and then yeah, Ziggy will give him a little lick, and Yuma's gonna cast a jump on himself. <laughs> Um, and he's going to jump as high as he can. <laughs> um, I think what kind of check is that? Some weird bullshit again. I'm getting concerned <laughs> on you. Because this is him jumping himself. Because jump like it like triples, triples your jump, jump height. speed, your height. Yeah. <laughs> is there like a um, ceiling to? This magical realm. I don't actually know, and I am concerned because he's really kind of like getting ready for a big cannonball. Uh, I think we might know soon. Hmm. Oh boy! I was glad he was distracted, but this is getting more concerning anyway. Ah. Uh. Um, cool. Newman jumps with all of his might. All right, roll me. How high does he go? Athletics or acrobatics check. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. So, roll me, roll me for this one a D twelve. Okay, so you go a hundred feet up in the air. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> oh wow! The house is a tiny speck to your mortal eyes. <laughs> uh, now is that tripled or due to jump? <laughs> no, that jump? is that is that is the that is caused by jump. Um. Okay. So now that Newman's like reached his peak. Should he be concerned with the land? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, roll me. A... I will not. I refuse. Newman will instead uh, position himself head first towards the ground as <laughs> some gliding wings come out of his pajamas. <laughs> I believe this is something that Newman can do that I've never used. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. As Newman safely floats <laughs> over the over the mansion. <laughs> Anya, I know this is a personal choice, and like you know, we do not need to unpack it or anything because it's your own current choice. But if you have those contacts, I don't even know how to describe this. I. Um. Huh. I don't know if I wanted to know. I could hear him falling, and then I heard something, and it's, now he's not dead. It's like he grew wings, but, um, hmm. Um, Newman's going to look for, like, a cool place to land on top of the mansion. Um, There's lots of cool places. It's a very but also like, what kind of pink, pink roof mansion is this? Uh, it's like a the tiled roof, like tiled. Um, yeah, it's got a nice little chimney. It's got a couple of like little balconies and stuff. A tile slippery when wet. <laughs> yes, famously so. <laughs> okay, Newman attempts to land on slippery tiles. Oh okay. no! Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Newman, uh, Newman, Newman, Newman. Yeah, roll me, roll me a deck save. Deck save. Uh, I want this to fail. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I mean, that's a success. But now yeah. you're on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Should we? Is he? Could he? Human, are you okay up there? Can human hear you? Can human hear us? Human <laughs> <all right? laughs> didn't even know you were there. <laughs> <He's not real. laughs> I mean, it's quote unquote outside. He probably can. Yeah. Yeah, but it's raining. <laughs> uh, Very lightly, wasn't it? It was lightly. Um, when... but it's time to rain more heavily now. Hmm. Where, where are you? Hang on, I'll, I'll come down. I'll come down. Um, <laughs> Newman will purposely slide down the tiles onto whatever side of the house he's on. I'm oh, not. I'm guessing, it's not, I'm guessing <laughs> it's not the front of the house anymore. So he'll come down the side of the house, I'm guessing, and look for an entrance, trying <laughs> to look for Birdie. Okay. Excellent. So are you using the glider again to... He'll slide down the roof and then, yeah, glide yeah. up. Yeah. Once he leaves, uh, once he jumps over the gutter or something. All right. Uh, and it doesn't take you long to find Birdie once you're Does down. you find an entrance is what oh. <laughs> I want to know. You'll definitely find a back door or somewhere like that. But he's got a few of those. <laughs> uh, a roll to investigate, I guess. Yeah. 23 23 yeah you find you find an entrance cool probably the front entrance which is where Bertie and Anya are okay cool oh Look. hey what are you guys doing oh we're just chilling outside how are you going yeah good oh you would not believe it it has been so much fun um, and the weirdest stuff is happening. So, uh -huh. essentially, I was double bouncing Ziggy, and I, well, it felt like I lured Ziggy, but, um, I don't know, I think Ziggy's, like, heavier than I imagined or something, or he's just very aerodynamic. He didn't actually go that high, but I was a little bit worried when he was falling, but, like, this sort of puddle, <laughs> like, randomly emerged. Um, oh. And then he just slipped back on over unharmed, so... That was awesome. So then I thought that I could do the same thing. And I tried to jump as high as I could and I went like <laughs> way up. You like, don't, I don't say. I'm yeah. guessing like maybe 150, 100 feet. I'm not too sure. But um, I did get a little bit worried because there was no puddle on the ground where I was looking to land. So um, yeah, I just oh. kind of, yeah, went for a bit of a glide. And then, um, then yeah. Now I'm at the front, and I think I'm kind of done now. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> as he as he like shimmies quite a fair bit, um, trying to get all of like this excess water off, um, especially <laughs> now that it's starting to downpour a lot more. Yeah, it is. And, um, <laughs> and Ziggy will like unslither himself as a scarf, and like crawl down on the ground and like slither inside where it's like nice and warm. <laughs> um, so yeah, cute. so I think it's time to go in. What, what are you... Weren't you showing everyone around? Oh, yeah, no, I was just chilling outside for fun. You know, we were having a rest, weren't we, Anya? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they're, um... Couples, you know? Yeah, uh, well, you know, they're just getting, like, pillows for the pillow fort. Yeah. <laughs> pillow fort? Mm. Pillow yeah. fort. Oh, pillow fort. Without yeah. me, we have oh. an actual committee no, no, for no, this no, kind of thing, the, the... and they are doing it without me. I will uh, not have this. Oh no, no, don't worry. They're just getting the pillows ready for you, so you can build it. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. Uh, I guess the um, armor will have to hold it up for you to be the muscle of the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fine. If only I could get that potion again. But regardless, I don't want to keep him waiting. So where's a good place for me to get dry? And then I'll go find him. Um, well, um, the parlor should be fine. Yeah, let's let's all get into the parlor. I don't, again, know why it's raining. Um, let's go sort that out. Yeah, let's go into the parlor. <laughs> oh, you, no, you guys are chilling at the front. Just let me know where to go. And yeah, I can handle myself. 
Oh. Newman, it's it's fine. I uh, will come with you. I yeah. should probably get a bit dry anyway. Yeah, yeah. it's chilly out here. It's gonna get rainy. So let, let, let's go inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Bailey sure. trying like like just pushes Newman and Tanya inside. Um, and kind of like as he walks in, he kind of like looks at the doorway that he um that he had like got Sam and Ross to go through. He's like, oh uh, yeah, um, well, we can um we can go over there. Um yeah, the parlor I could probably put like the fire on that would be good. That'll dry you up or you know, um yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Um yeah, cool. Newman will go and dry up. Um, the parlor's there. It's the one that has like the velvet, pink, and shaylong, <laughs> and like the little chairs. That's where Newman had his like um, little intervention, <laughs> love show thing. Um, like a fire bursts into roaring the second he walks in. Um, oh, that's awesome! Um, but he just kind of stands there with his fingers steepled. So as and he's he- like enjoying himself in front of the fire, um, he's going to mention. So how do we get to where? Ross and Samma? Uh, Where's well, the I'm pillow sure fort being built? Yeah, oh, they're just getting pillows, so they'll like bring it. Where do you reckon we should have it? Just like in the entrance area, maybe, or something? I'm sure they'll turn up soon. They're just like, they're just taking a little while. You I'm know pretty I mean. sure they went um, upstairs to get the pillows. That makes the most sense with the bedrooms, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, upstairs, of course. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely where they got them from. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, okay, I might start planning then. Um, as Newman goes into his bag of holding and takes out a bit of parchment or his his blueprint paper, so to speak, <laughs> and um, he'll start drawing up designs for a grand pillow fort. Um, he might bring out another bit of parchment saying, like, the ideal materials required for this as well. Um, just something to go and collect for as well. Um <clears throat> So yeah, that's what Newman's going to spend like the next uh, five or oh, probably like two or three minutes doing it. He's pretty quick. He's like he's always coming up with ideas in the back of his head on like the next big pillow fort. He that's likes to valid. make them more intricate than the last kind of thing. So. I think probably at that point, then like while Newman's like busily doing that, but like oh fuck, no, I'm going to actually have to go and get some pills. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Bertie, Bertie, Bertie. Mm, yeah, yeah. He can get the pillows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's right. No, I mean, you won't question it, so that'll be fine. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. He'll just get yeah. upset with Ross and Sam for not having done it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. This is fine. This is going fine. This is going great. <laughs> and um, but he kind of like steeples his fingers and looks over at like um the room. not and you can't see it but like um there's more little frames around the room and like they also all just scratch out um as he kind of just steeples his fingers well on that Anya does uh sort of say to Bertie she's like I um I have a question for you but I don't know whether it is something that will be too much to think about with everything going on. Yeah. (laughs) So if it is, let me know, okay? No worries. What safe word do you want to use? And he winks at her (laughs) for his own benefit, for his own joke, which he thinks like (laughs) at himself. Very funny, Betty. Thanks. Why is it raining? Um, I don't know. It shouldn't be doing that. Um, uh, I got this place prepared in a hurry, so I don't know. I haven't wanted to be here since, um, who knows? And then it just, like, rains even, like, the, the, the rain picks up even harder. It just, like, cracks thunder in the background. Oh, you know, <sighs> this little thing. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Um, I have an idea for Newman, but just give me. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay. And Anya kind of, um, she goes down to where Newman's scribbling and sort of scoots over to him. Um, and she's like, 
Uh, Newman. Sorry to interrupt your work. Can I ask a favor? Uh, sure. What's up? Um, don't mention it to Bertie. I, um, I don't think he's coping very well being here. Uh, since Caius. And she's like saying very quietly. Um, I think um, you're better at cheering people up than I am. Do you think you could help me distract him tonight? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, there's this new thing I've been wanting to try out, so um, might work. We'll see what happens. I do want to keep it a secret, though. Okay. Well, um, don't let him in on it, but uh, maybe we should focus on him a bit tonight. Yeah, no, no, that is that is perfectly... I agree. Um, what is Birdie doing right now? Um, he's kind of like, um, he was kind of just standing with like his fingers stapled, um, watching under Wonder of the Newman. But at this point, he's kind of just like, um, he's just turned and he's just looking at like, um, the surroundings of like the little, um, room, which is like, it has a lot of just like little knickknacks and things. It has like little tapestries and stuff. It doesn't look like something Bertie's bought. Um, and he just kind of just looks very like he's been very like ha 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 very like very like his manic kind of usual thing but he just looks quite small at this kind of moment which is easy because he's very short <laughs> but um he's just kind of just standing there looking a little bit tinier than normal um newman is going to fold up the parchment with the pillows required and tie it to Ziggy's neck. It's folded in the shape of a bow tie. Um, and he will look um, Ziggy in the eyes and go, now I need you to go find Ross and Sam and bring this to them. It's very important. I don't, like, I'm happy for them to keep whatever pillows they've got on them, but these are the pillows that are essential to the construction of this pillow fort. And I'm going to make oh, oh. this the absolute best pillow fort there is and hopefully it'll help Bertie. Newman, uh, can I add an extra note quickly before you send it? Uh, can I borrow yeah. a pen? Sure. Uh, he looks at Anya and sees if they're wearing the contacts at the moment. Are they wearing the contacts at the moment? She's not, but she you've seen her right without the contacts yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. It's just very messy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here you go. He unfolds the bow tie and puts Ziggy down for a bit. Okay, um... <laughs> and she very quickly scribbles, like, very lightly in a corner, um... Don't worry. I'm dealing with it, aren't you? <laughs> What? And then, like, starts folding it up. What was uh, I, I think Ravari was also worried about uh, Bertie. Oh, Do you want me to make uh, a deception roll? No, Newman believes you. <laughs> okay, cool. So, Amazing. Nat one, Newman believes you. <laughs> so, which yeah. way are you pointing the snake? Um, the way that he hasn't gone yet. So if they came in through the back door, it'll go through. Like if they came in through the like the back entrance to this room, then it'll go through the front entrance kind of thing. He'll he'll do them. Okay, how about this? He'll do the maze tactic where he follows the left hand side wall all the way along. But if he goes outside, he'll turn back in and keep on following the left hand side wall. So I think that does that mean if I if I have this arrangement right that probably means that the first the first exited attempts is the staircase is that right or is oh, it the from actual there. it depends because i believe the doorway that 
Frost and Sam did go through, that would be the closest first, and then the staircase. Unfortunately, the way that I've planned it out. <laughs> <he> guess. Okay. <laughs> so if we can oh, get in there. <laughs> Ziggy, you're so good. <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm all for this. <laughs> it is quite large. <laughs> to be fair, I imagine Bertie would have like set some kind of alarm like mm. thing around like the doorway mm. to for like Newman. He wouldn't be thinking about a snack. Yeah. All right. So let Ziggy crash the game. Yeah. <laughs> so while that is happening, snack rights. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, how do you envision uh, that this would have been going on? Well, Sam gets a pretty equal say in how the date's going. Ross is like, I've never been wooed before. So she's just like very happy and like giggly and like... Oh no, yeah, just Sam probably hasn't seen her this happy in a very long time. Um, and uh, although she does occasionally appear like quite awkward, but there's a comfort to her when it's just the two of them that uh, he probably hasn't seen in a, in a long time. Um, as they're like eating all this food from when they were in college and like standing there being like, they didn't. Real parmesan tasted different, didn't it? Real parmesan tastes like, like a little bit different. Huh. Like. It tastes like that. tasty cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah so, However, I don't know. Ross is just have, having like a great time. You do have a method to make it taste more accurate. Ross doesn't care. Preston, no. She doesn't care. She's happy. Yeah. So uh, unless Sam is initiating anything else they do, she's mm. just kind of like enjoying the moment. Yeah. So I, Darby, I guess my question to you is, <laughs> what is Sam doing on the day? Yeah, so I think I think he, after, after they kiss, um, he's probably indicating towards the food and yeah, um, probably uh, going for the, the, the kind of cliched thing of like feeding each other morsels in between bites and... <laughs> this is very <laughs> cute but I Zoe am just like ah uh, romance <laughs> disgust but this is very very cute I think uh, that's exactly Ross is too into it she's so happy yeah um and yeah, you, the, the two of you get through the meal, at least, uninterrupted. And I will say, before maybe a snack invader appears, um, uh, one last little thing happens, um, and, um, uh, so one of, like, the, the faceless little, like, um, uh, because you can just, like, you see them every now and then, just some of the, um, the, the like, faceless little semi corporeal servants, um one of them like steps up and kind of like reaches out to Ross and just kind of like mimes like a wand. Oh <laughs> you know, like absolutely like it's fully in, in fully armor. This is absolutely like it's Caius shaped, just doesn't have a face. <laughs> it looks very creepy. Yeah. But um Yeah, and Ross has some, some more which look exactly the same, just kind of like just arrive. Yeah. Ross has a moment of like, like jump scare, just, huh. And yes, it's probably very creepy because I probably weren't there. And then you turn around, you're like, ah. Oh. Partially because for a moment, like the crack of thunder, the, the shape, like in her periphery, she doesn't assume it's a servant. And then she kind of blinks and realizes that it, it's a servant and there's like this relief. And then she realizes what they look like and that their faces are scratched out. And she kind of... Uh, and without looking away from it, she says out loud, like, um... Birdie's not doing too great, is he? As she pulls the wand of conducting out of her hair and uh, hands it to the servant. Excellent. 
and I presume one of them will take that. Um, and um, they um, they kind of like gesture um, and like probably at that point, because that's within the realms of like Birdie has pre-planned some of this, is um, the curtain like sp- extends out from where the doorway was um, around there. And like this, there's quite a, a sizable space in the dining room um, and they step back and um, wave the wand of conducting to whatever song you would imagine it would go to uh, uh, Zoe and then the other ones will just like point expectantly at like the little space there and then <laughs> just silently stand there looking at you well they can't but they're, they don't have faith <laughs> yeah yeah I don't know what song it would be <laughs> who knows what royalty free song <laughs> would be playing or well, something completely new as soon as Ross realizes what this is, there's a moment where she gets almost like a little like shit-eating grin on her face as she looks at Sam and makes it start playing an orchestral version of one of the songs he wrote in college that upon reflection are clearly about her. And she just waits to see what his reaction is to that, at which point she will change it. <laughs> to something else. Um, I think his reaction is is a, a, probably a sheepish grin as, as he looks at you and embraces you again. <laughs> I should have worked out a long time ago, huh? You really should have. I don't notice these kinds of things. I... I didn't want to lose you. I didn't know there was anything to lose. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for having me. (laughs) And he goes to kiss you. She kisses him as the music would probably change to Claire de Lune. And then she would um, kind of step back and be like, remember any of the old dance classes? I might recall a couple of steps. Well, come on, you have to lead. And there he takes your hand and your waist and we dance to Claire Delune. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little burst of applause, um, probably by the moment that you guys, um, like, while, while you guys dancing, like, they're just, like, silent, like, from nowhere. Um, and, um, it's like another flash of thunder kind of happens, and probably by that point, the snake probably arrives. Yeah. Jake, how would snake arrive? I how have a question, better? though, very quickly. Ooh, um, yes, was yes. it pre-established that the snake made the... <laughs> sounds and is that what they hear approaching because i just needed to know that That's terrifying. Yeah. well newman does it hang on this whole time i was going yeah 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 but I was yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yes uh, so um it doesn't yeah. roll a great stealth so both of you notice it coming in with its is that you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. <laughs> Me, Zoe, didn't realize that was an innuendo. Oh no. Is that <laughs> you? Are you just happy to see? Birdie <laughs> greatly approves. Turns up in the top <laughs> left corner. <laughs> I've made a great uh. mistake. Ross, like. Looks around. Good. <laughs> Ziggy? It makes a sound again. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, dude, you can't, you can't talk. <laughs> yep. Um, as it like slithers up to you guys. Um, did, did you ask Birdie to send Ziggy as well? Is Ziggy part mm, of the date? No. Um, then okay. Ziggy will, like, kind of 
coil up at its tail and lift its upper body up, uh, revealing its very fancy bow tie. Aww, aren't you a handsome little guy? Um, and then you might notice a little bit of scribble on the bow tie. Ah. Ross, like, gently removes his handsome little bow tie and gives him a little pat on the head. And like just leans again like against Sam like her shoulder to like the side of his chest while she like opens up the note and reads all of Newman's specifications. Probably Three like triangle pillows. <laughs> two body pillows. Approximately sixty cushions. Square shaped. Approximately twenty cushions. Triangle shaped. Approximately 30 <laughs> regular size pillows. <laughs> the list goes on and on and on. And then right <laughs> at the bottom is Anya's little scribbled note. And Ross is like, so Anya says they have a handle on this. Okay. I don't know how they've got a handle on this if they don't also have the list. <laughs> I'm... I don't know. Let's just send the snake back, shall we? (laughs) It's done its job, I guess, in getting this message to us. Are you real? Samuel Visk, are you choosing spending more time eating questionable Navoran cuisine with me over pillow fort manufacturing? Are you at all surprised? Well, you don't have to be cute about it. <laughs> um, Ziggy, because I'm assuming the music hasn't stopped, Ziggy starts dancing. <laughs> Aww, buddy. Well, maybe he can stay with us. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to that. If it weren't for the fact that I wouldn't put it past Newman to have some sort of way of scrying through the snake. Right. You know, I watched like a series of short plays when I was like younger and they had like this scene where there were these like witches and their whole lives they'd had a cat that was a familiar. And then one day it turned out the familiar was like actually a man in disguise. And it turns out he'd been watching them like all the time. And I remember really distinctly, they said like, oh, I feel really bad about all those times I've gotten dressed around him. And like, I I wasn't able to get changed around like an animal for like years. (laughs) Ruined my life. Sorry, Me- buddy. Meanwhile, the amount of times you've gotten dressed in front of... <laughs> well, people are different. <laughs> people. <laughs> Except people, you're suggesting... Yeah, people are just people. <laughs> Animals could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> people, especially, you know, other actors, what are they going to do? <laughs> Look at me, I'm here to be looked at. Oh. Oh. How big is this room? <laughs> decent Buddy. size. It's a pretty decent size, yeah. It's a dining room, a fancy boy dining room. So, dining room sized. Sure. If you're rich and bougie, which is what he's trying bougie. to be. Is this. Uh... Okay. <laughs> um. Ziggy, you can return to Newman now. Um, Ziggy does a little nod and continues following the left-hand side wall. Okay. So he'll make the round. On speed, um, Ziggy. <laughs> if there's any offshoots, he will leave <laughs> through that door and then may eventually come back in as he follows the left-hand side wall. <laughs> Uh, he's now on the search for pillows. <laughs> um, sure. And will drag any pillows that he can. Okay. Back to Newman. That's actually amazing. <laughs> um, okay. And um, 
Newman is scheming on another idea at the moment. So what Newman would like to do is he would like to pace around um, the area they're in and maybe just have a, like a quick look in the in the rooms nearby just to find like a very suitable place to build a pillow fort because Birdie did give Newman the option of where to build the pillow fort. So he's going he's going to take up on that offer and he's going to look for a nice place. He's looking for a place with big windows. Like very uh-huh. big windows or at least like a uh, more of like a high window kind of thing. Panoramic Definitely. if possible, but height is what he's going for. So What I kind how- of imagine is that he has like those big French windows, so like they're big like arched, like it's kind of I don't know how to just, I'm not a good architect, which probably would help with this kind of thing. Um, but like really like tall long windows with like a big arch on the top. They're very decorative. Um a lot of like the rooms of the house have that. Um that are facing outwards. And it's quite Again, like very dark and red, and there's just flashes of lightning every now and then. Um, the rain is quite heavy now, so it's which is quite pleasant when you're indoors. Excellent. Um, cool, 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 cool. Hmm. Um, hey, Bertie, do you happen to have like a, mm-hmm. a like a, I don't know, like a junk room by any chance? Do you have umbrellas? Umbrellas? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. I just wanted to try and do something. Something I've been wanting to do for a while, actually. Do you mind if I, like, borrow these umbrellas? Yeah, no, you, yeah, you can if you want. Yeah, fantasy and, umbrellas, absolutely. Yeah. And um, if, anything, if anything bad happened to these umbrellas, would it matter? Um... A reminder, oh, well, yeah, they do no, cease to exist real. once the mansion yeah. does. They're not real, so yeah, sure. I'd go, go, go ham, man. Yeah, sure, awesome. Um, what about this uh, shelf here? I mean, As I it... guess it's okay. Yeah. Um, Newman breaks a shelf off a unit. Um, <gasps> look, it, it, it'll 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 be it'll be worth it. None of this is real, right? Oh, you're right. That's you're right. None of it's real. None of it's real. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I know you're right. Mm. All right. Um, okay, Newman would like to fashion together like a wooden platform, um, but with a whole bunch of umbrellas, and he would like to do several indents in the wood um, so that he could fit maybe some scrunched up pieces of paper in there, a parchment. Um, doing? I will also note the umbrellas are even, like pink and frilly. Well, there's one that has like little bees all over it. Oh. <laughs> That's actually really cute. Um, and Newman would like to then head outside in view of where those big windows are. Full rain S of X. <laughs> mm. um, so Newman is going to... Let me just see if it's a concentration spell. Oh no, did he unprepare it? I think he did. Maybe he has it. <laughs> yeah, this maybe situation. hypothetically he hasn't. Uh, <laughs> unprepared levitation. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Newman is going to cast levitation on this contraption that he has made. And he's going to light the pieces of parchment on fire <laughs> using his tinder box. Um and he's going to use levitate to let it like fly up into the air um and he'll even like push it up um and then he's going to rush back inside um and he's going to go find birdie and he's going to go find anya and bring them up to the window um and like he'll pull a couple of pillows out like as for seating and stuff like that and he's going to try and get you to sit down um now hey quick we've only got a small amount of time for this um as you can see it's getting further and further away Uh uh-huh yeah so just just sit down i want to show you something anya um takes a moment and then just sighs and she's like you're forgetting again but it's okay you... And she takes her contacts out and puts them in. <laughs> Newman was just about to say, this is something you're going to want to wear contacts for. Um, 
And yeah, once everyone's sat down, Newman's going to sit down as well in front. And he is going to point a hand at his little flying contraption that is shielded by the umbrellas so the flame doesn't go out in the rain. And he's going to cast pyrotechnics on it. Um, so basically what happens is a massive explosion goes off in the sky um, as fireworks light up all sorts of different colors each parchment had a different color combination um as they kind of fizzle out in the rain as well kind of leaving this like colored smoke in the sky and it's because you said it was like kind of like a dark evening there should be some form of like it shouldn't be terrible to look at it should be quite visible as well um <sighs> Are, are you making sure that these are visible from the dining room, or...? It even doesn't know that anyone's no. in the dining room. <laughs> no. But so they, they so might be. In that, in, in that point, then, would they be visible from the dining room, Bertie? Would there be Probably. windows there? Yeah. We'll it say, was we'll approximately 60 sense. feet away from the house, if that helps. No. Yeah, Probably. It's a bit of a strange... The, the architecture is very strange at the moment, so probably, yeah. yeah. Regardless, there was an explosion, though, so there is noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I will note when Newman does this, but he looks like his ears prick right up. And he looks very excited. Um, and he's sitting next to Anya at this point, as, like, Newman's setting this off. Um, and he's just like, oh, my goodness. Um, but while he's watching that, he kind of like looks like he's thinking about something, and like he he does start like he does start to cry a bit. Um, but he does look happy. Um, but, and he kind of just like draws his knees up to his chest and um, just like watches the fireworks. Um, yeah, and it's probably um, mostly like she'll watch the fireworks sort of out of her periphery but she's mostly watching birdie and just checking in on birdie like subtly uh to make sure he's okay and um if newman like looks across to her she um will do like a little sneaky thumbs up and mouth like good job to him yeah it kind of like almost if she's watching birdie as well not to be like emo but like um when he like sees this like um he just looks really surprised and like like excited when he sees this um but he does then just kind of when he does start to cry a bit he does kind of just reach on his pocket and just hold that little rock and then just like yeah just has that with little knees to his chest um and just like leans his head against his knee and just like, watches the the fireworks He's like i think it's amazing yeah. um, i think hearing the first of the fireworks Oh, actually, I'll let I'll let you get through the rest of yours because this might be a nice finish image that I have in mind. So, uh, no, you do that, and then I'll add my bit onto the end if if it's appropriate. <laughs> okay. Um. So, hearing the fireworks in the dining area, um, Sam says, is "That what I think it is." So. We might have to go back in through the front if we do what I'm thinking, but we want to see the fireworks outside. <laughs> Ross, like, had panicked. Like, there was this look of intense panic on her face. And then she's kind of stopped. And she's like... She goes over to the window and looks out. And as we've established, you can see them through there. And she's like, we can watch them from here. I want to be alone with you for a bit longer. And he, he wraps his ra arm around your shoulder and watches them out the window with you. She leans her head on his shoulder and watches them. He kisses you on the forehead as you do so. All of this happening in front of the suit of armor as Zoot Suit peeks his little head out of the out of the shoulder holes and gives a wink at the audience. 
And in the background, um, like the little like circle of like the thing starts to close in before it cuts to credits. And yep. it zooms out a little bit, and then Buddy's like, still just like crying. He's like, "Okay, Newman, I I prepared something special for you. I was going to use it as a distraction, but um, I want you to peek into like the first door over there." And he points to like one of the doors, like that's closest to the room. That's not cool. the room that Ross and Sam are in. Cool, Newman. Okay. Peek. <laughs> okay, Newman opens the door and he has a little peek in, and there's like a somewhat like a like quite a cramped little room, but it's got like a magically rotating little table which has lots of little plates on it of like different little crackers and pastries, and one that has like like a little like soup bowls, and then um like it's, it's like it's just magically rotating around like a little um like a like a sushi tray or something, and everybody's like it's a mayonnaise buffet. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and as as Newman tears into the mayonnaise buffet, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> take a bow. That's amazing. The whole class clapped. Amazing. The whole class clapped. Everyone liked that. <laughs> Sorry for listening. Sorry for listening. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Are you about to end this episode actually? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Can I, if it's, if it's okay, can I go like an extra 10 minutes? <laughs> Please describe, Jake. I will. Can I, can I, can I, can I, okay. Uh, we all uh, DM quiet. Jake's <laughs> <laughs>